This is Butig, the birthplace of the Maute group, the terrorists behind the Marawi siege. It's also home to many unfinished infrastructure projects that have frustrated residents for years. I'm here in Barangay Tiwi in Butig, and behind me is a housing unit which began in 2018 but until now remains unfinished. So I'm going to walk you through the housing unit. This is a housing project by the armed government. And as you can see, there are no steps. So whoever will live here will have to contend with that. And as we enter this unit, um, you'll see that the house is not very livable. There is no water. So this is the sink, but there are no water connections or um, electrical wiring. We have here one room where there is hardly any amenities or, or electricity. Um, and you can see the plants already growing through the windows. Uh, so the, the people who were supposed to live here said that even if the, housing, the houses are already built, they refuse to move in because there's no way they can live without water, without electricity. Uh, so they've just been living in their houses um, and also the owner of the land has complained that the, the government hasn't paid him for the land and also his workers have not been paid. In nearby Binidayan, farmer Musa Misug endures this abandoned road project every day. He's a member of the Mora Islamic Liberation Front, the former rebel group that leads the new Bangsamora government which promised change for the likes of Misu. For decades, bad roads, substandard housing, and the general lack of infrastructure have held Muslim Mindanao back from real progress. Here, in Lanao del Sur's second district, glaring anomalies have been spotted in public works projects in 2017 and 2018. The Commission on Audit, in a March 2019 management letter, flagged procurement violations in 600 million pesos worth of projects in places like Butig and Binidayan. The district's public works office failed to submit signed contracts. Funds were released without proper documents. Projects were delayed by over a year. These violations occurred before the new Bangsamora government took over. Commander Bravo, also known as Abdullah Makakua, were among those who reported the problems to the new Bangsamora government. Mayroon po kaming na nakitang anomalya dyan, tatlong bilyon ng tatlong taon, uh, time of the arm. Sabi nila dito sa area ng second district. Yun po ang hinahanap po namin ng paraan. Tulad po mayroon po kami nakukang mga papilis, nandun yung mga record, may, uh, may, may project. Di ba yun ang attorney? May project, kaya lang hinap, hinahanap po namin yung pira, wala. Di mayroong kumuha doon. Kailang hindi kumuha ang barm, ang kumuha doon ng the time of arm. There's been some action since. The head of the District Public Works Office, Engineer Abib Arumpak, was replaced. Bangsamoro Interim Chief Minister Murad Ibrahim ordered an investigation. Yet some of the projects remain unattended to. We spoke with Maldamin de Campong, the district office's temporary chief. De Campong and the rest of the new government are under pressure to purge corruption in infrastructure projects and ensure the people of the region see and feel the promised change. Piranada, Rappler, Lanao del Sur.